to use one of CapCut's awesome templates, you first wanna open up CapCut. Now there are two places you can find the templates here on the home screen. We can see templates here, we can click on that and choose a template from here, or we can close that going back to the home screen and hit create project. And now up here in the top, we have templates. And if you don't see it, you can just click on that arrow there, or you can just drag over and it'll reveal the rest of the stuff over here. But we can see it here, so I'm gonna just click on templates. Now it's going to show you templates that are interesting to you, it thinks, based on, you know, for you, what it thinks you wanna see based on what you've used before. And then we have a bunch of categories we can choose from, or we can type in something here, and we can also adjust some filters. So let's say we only want templates that are vertical, so we can use them for TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube Shorts. Uh, we want clips that are no more than six or 10. So these are the photos or videos you're going to add to these templates. We can limit the number of them. Let's say we want six to 10. And the duration, we can have a short one, long one. We just want one that's zero to 15 seconds. So longer than zero, shorter than 15. So we click OK, and it's going to show us these templates. Now, the template that I want to use, I don't see here right now. So I'm just going to type in uh, the name of it, which was six photo or video and see what pops up. And yeah, there's the one, six photo or video. That's the one. And when I click on it, it starts to play here. But before I show you how to use this template, I want you to look at a couple things. We can see right here that this particular template was used 85,000 times and it requires six photos or videos. This was used 29 times, this one 181,000 times. So you can look at these numbers to see if it's a popular one that a bunch of people have maybe used before. So you can not waste your time looking at the ones that are, you know, maybe not so great. But there's, you know, a whole bunch of options down here. We're gonna choose this one to use it. By the way, you probably notice it keeps like playing. When you scroll over it, it starts to play. Okay, and to actually use it, you just go over here and you click on this plus sign and it puts it in your timeline. And now it tells us there are six clips to be replaced. I'm gonna hit Shift Z on my keyboard. I'm gonna make this a little bigger here, so I have a bigger timeline. And how to replace these clips? It's not obvious. You just click right here, clip to be replaced, and then bam, this tells you that we have six different clips. They can be photos or videos and how long each one has to be at least. If you have a video clip that is shorter than any of these lengths, it's not going to work. So let's get some clips. I'm gonna go over to import and click import right here and jump into the free folder. And I'm giving you all of these videos and photos for you to play with. Do what you want with, don't want to give me credit. There's a link for these in the description below so you can mess with them. And there's, there's some cool stuff in here I'll show you. Click import. Now the easy way is you just click on, let's say picks. I've got a bunch of them. I've numbered some one through six just to make it super easy. So I could very quickly go one, replace two, three, and I'm just dragging them down here to each one of these places. And there's four in the fourth spot, five right here and six right here, and bam. And I'm not gonna show you it from the beginning just because this is copyrighted music and I don't wanna play too much of it but to give a feel for it. Here we go. Right, so there we've got six photos already edited. For me to edit that, that would have taken like an hour to edit that to the beat and all that motion, all that stuff. But here, literally in like, 20 seconds, I've made a really cool edit. Now, that's you could be done there, but what if you wanna use video and you have different aspect ratios? That's what I'm gonna show you now. Before I show you that, if you are new to editing and you want to learn to edit and you're terrified, don't know where to start, I got you. I got a course, it's called Edit with Trev and Master CapCut, and I teach you everything that CapCut does, and you go through the course in like a day or two and get really good at this really fast. I also teach you how to get more views and more subscribers. There's like 10 steps. If you just follow these steps, it's just, it's just an outline. It's a, it's a map for what you need to do. You just do the steps, you'll get more views and more subscribers every time. I promise it's guaranteed. If you don't, get all your money back. So check out the course, Edward with Threadmaster CapCut, link in the description below, or you can click like right up, right up here or right up here. Now, what if you wanna throw some videos in here and they're not all vertical? and you gotta find the right spot. How do you do that? Well, let's jump back here under all, and we're gonna click on video, and I've got a bunch of videos here. Let me just show you a couple. There's some pretty cool stuff. Here we've got dolphins next to the boat. We've got 
harbor seals. Actually, these are sea lions over here. We got some cool boat footage with birds. We actually sailed from Redondo Beach all the way to San Francisco under the Golden Gate Bridge. It was like a nine day trip. So I got some footage from that here, but I've taken six of these, put them in order and make it easy for you. So it's the same exact process, except when you get something that's horizontal like this in this vertical format, you just drag it down. Remember, it's gotta be at least three and a half seconds, just like that. And now I have the ability to trim it by clicking in this rectangle that's outlined. I just click and drag and I can choose which part of this clip I wanna use. So I wanna use that part right there. I hit replace clip. It's gonna replace the photo that was there. And we have an issue. Oh no, it's horizontal and this is vertical. I click on this pencil again and I choose crop ratio. And down here it says free. That means I can use you know any aspect ratio and make it whatever I want. But we wanna do that. We want to make this nine by 16 vertical, the same format that you use on Instagram Reels, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. So I'm going to choose nine by 16. And now all I gotta do is move it in place. I want it uh, right about there. And to make sure that the boat stays right in the middle, bam, we just scroll through it and it kind of moves over there. So let's maybe move it like that. And so it starts there and moves to that side. That's perfect. I hit confirm. And I just do exactly the same thing with each one of these. I'll do one more for you, then I'll do them without looking. And then you do exactly the same with the other five. Let me go ahead and do one more for you so you know how to do it. I'm gonna click this guy, drag it down here. And this one, yeah, that's pretty good, just like that. And I'm gonna click replace clip. And it was already vertical, so we're good there. I'll do, I'll do one more horizontal one so you can see what to do. I'm gonna drag this guy down to here, number three. And we got these dolphins, but I know there is a dolphin there. See this dolphin right here? See that guy? We want to see that dude, right? So it's going to, let's play it and see what we got. And put the playhead right here just by clicking and I hit play. Uh, yeah, he disappears too soon. So I want him to go back this way a little more like that. Let's see if we like that. And it's just a matter of messing with it and see what you like. You want to see all of them. So let's maybe back up a little more. Click and play. Yeah, that's probably great there. Replace clip, but again, it's horizontal. I want it to be vertical. So I'm just going to click on that pencil sign again, hit crop ratio, choose not free, but rather nine by 16. Move this over here so we get to see that dude. And then we'll just play through it and see, yeah, that looks pretty good. We can see this guy whoo, evaporating into the water. I click confirm. And it's gonna do the same thing for these next three. And then we'll show you the final masterpiece. Not to risk it. 12 or 13 seconds of a pop song. Let, let's, let's see if I get, uh, get in trouble for it. Okay, now I've got all these in here and trimmed the way I showed you. Now we're gonna just play a second and to see one other issue we're gonna fix. So you hear me speaking in this, maybe we just want the music. So to get rid of the audio from these clips, you can keep what you want, delete what you want. You just click on each one and you click on audio up here and you just drag it down just like that. So we'll do that for each one of these guys. Now let's watch the final masterpiece. I'm gonna play all 12 seconds with this pop song and I'm gonna risk copyright just so I can show you. Hopefully I won't get in trouble. Here we go. One thing that's just as fun as editing and maybe even more fun is filming cinematic video clips. To learn how to do that in one of my favorite videos I've ever made, you want to click on this video right, right here.